Guys, in today's video, I wanna go back to fortnite.gg and go over a really helpful concept for a lot of you guys in competitive. This is going to be loot routes. Loot routes, in my opinion, are the best way to actually plan for your off-spawn game, how you're gonna be functioning, how you're gonna be moving around the map, and how you're going to survive and win any off-spawn fights you may have to. So, to start off, I wanna go over a major name POI. In this circumstance, I'm gonna be going over restored reels. Let me just turn on the quick names real quick just so you guys know where everything is. I'm gonna be turning on the overall locations named and landmarks as well because that's important stuff here so essentially what you guys should do i'd recommend first thing you do is you look at spawns i'd recommend you turn on god chests chests buried chests rare chests weapons cases bunkers anything that provides any loot value to you that stuff's important like vending machines floor loot and ammo boxes that's just no need for that there's just too many of that to you know crowd your map it'll just be kind of messy launch pads work great you know you could put anything you really want slurp truck slurp barrel slap barrels uh, you know, fishing holes, anything really. That stuff is really helpful. So after that, you're gonna be like, okay, I have this map with all the loot and stuff that I need. This is how I'm gonna plan out my loot route. Let's say I wanna land at restored reels. I see all the chests, all the different attributes. First thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do is you have to learn where you're going to land if you're playing solos and then where you and your teammate are going to land if you're playing duos. Now let's say that you wanna plan for an uncontested loot route. If you're uncontested at restored reels, one of you can land on this side of the restored reels at this chest and start looting around the area. So I can write player one. Oh, I did not spell player right, but whatever. Then the other person can land on this side of restore, re restored reels. I can write player two here. That's a really good option, but it's very unlikely that you're going to be uncontested. In this situ situation, what you guys can easily, easily do is you can land in the spot and then you guys can rotate around, do a zigzag pattern, and then loot the whole POI. However, getting into a more realistic loot route, you're probably not going to be uncontested. So if I'm going to be recommending where you guys should be as a duo that's landing in a contested POI, you guys need to find a spot with a really high volume of loot. In this circumstance, I'd recommend this center building right here. This is four chests really close to it, or I'd recommend this place right here with the slap barrels right there and then four chests. Ideally, I'd recommend you guys both land here. So maybe one person lands on this chest right here, and then one more person lands on this chest on this side right here. And then what you guys can do, this player can easily rotate over here, loot these two chests. This player can farm and rotate to the slurp barrels, and then you guys can meet at the slurp barrels easily in order to get the loot and then easily get some shield right there. You can then continue to rotate around the POI, kind of do a wrap, get these slap barrels, keep going, make it to this vending machine, buy any weapons you need to loot this area, fight any spawn fights you have to fight, all over in this area right here. That's my general recommendation for how you guys should be landing if you are contested at this POI. That's a really good way to make a quick off spawn loot route. But there's also some other stuff about off spawn loot routes that people don't consider. That's going to be what if you're contested? What if you're highly contested? What if there's four or five, six teams landing at your POI and you want to disengage and find a backup spot? In this circumstance in Restored Reels, there's not too many spots around it. Obviously, you could go over here, land in that little place. You go over to the gas station, land there, the island. There's so many different spots that have very little loot that you can land and easily have a backup spot for. My recommendation, if you realize, hey, my drop may not be the best, there's a ton of people landing here, just try to go for this drop and then immediately divert as soon as you make the decision to not land there. Be like, hey, listen, we're going right to the gas station. And don't get me wrong, some people might be landing this gas station as their main drop, so you're gonna have to fight with them, but you need to still have a backup spot. That's an important part of a loot route. The idea of this is having a backup spot for a name POI, that is crucial. So overall, that's what I recommend for a loot route here. Then getting into the, a little bit of the later, earlier game stage, what you guys can do, you can loot the whole POI. Let's say you went off spot and this POI is done. You guys can be like, all right, now based upon where the zone is, I want to rotate. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, they don't really know where to rotate. They don't know how to move. For me, what I'd recommend for you guys is you should ideally try to land here. And then obviously since restored reels is center zone, you guys can rotate around these areas. You can go to the gas station, wrap around these two chests, go over here, loot the whole lake, go fishing, get slurp barrels, whatever you need to do. And then you can rotate out to a different POI, such as fencing fields, such as Pleasant Piazza, such as reckless railways, if you want to go that direction as well. There's a bunch of different options for you guys. What you need to find is what works for you based upon the zone. So for example, let's say the zone's pulling more towards this northeastern side of the map. You can obviously rotate towards reckless railways earlier because that's more northeast of the map and more northeast of restored reels. If it's pulling more in the southwest, you guys can rotate over to Pleasant Piazza. If it's rotating more in the southeast, you guys can go over to Mount Olympus area. There's a bunch of different options at these named POI loot routes. That's generally the easy part is that you guys, after you leave this POI, you're gonna have so many different options of where you can rotate, especially with the good amount of loot you're gonna have from the amount of loot in this named POI. That's the thing for named POIs. Now I wanna get into a split drop explaining how exactly how to make a loot route there. Now let's go into a very famous split drop on this map, one that I'm a really big fan of. This is going to be the Orchard Station and Lovely Lodge split. I have gone over this in my duo drops before. I'm a big fan of this split. I think it's really, really beneficial for a lot of players that wanna have a good split drop. So basically, 
your likelihood of being contested here is a lot lower than named POI. So if you guys are uncontested, obviously one player lands on this side and then one player lands over here at the station. Let me find a marker. One person lands right here and you guys just simply loot this whole area and then rotate. That's pretty straightforward. However, if you are contested, which don't get me wrong, it's definitely possible for you guys to be contested. I'd recommend you guys both land on the high, like I said, the high concentration loot. So maybe one, you guys both land this building. One player is going to be landing over here with all these chests. Another player lands on this side with all the other chests. You guys loot it in the zigzag pattern. So what I mean by that, this player can go in a little zigzag pattern and then they can meet at the slurp barrels. This player can go right here, loot this in a big zigzag pattern and then meet them in the slurp barrels right here as well. And this person, since they have chests in a closer proximity, they can farm, they can do whatever else they need to do to loot up. And then once you get the slap barrels, guys, then I recommend you rotate to the other side of the POI if the other team lands there and fight them. If the team is landing on the same building as you, you guys should pretty much land right on top of each other. My recommendation for that would be to land near the slap barrels because that's guaranteed shield. And you guys can get it quick and you're obviously going to have a health advantage right off the rip. There's also tons of chests here. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you're contested at any POI, you need to land together and in a place with a really high amount of loot concentration. You're going to be getting tons of loot, tons of shield, and tons of mats very quickly. That's how you're going to win these off-spawn fights with a proper loot route, okay? So after that situation, what I'd recommend you guys do, let's say you win this POI, let's say you're done with it, let's say, hey, I don't need to you know, do anything at this POI anymore. I've already won. There's no point in me bothering and doing anything here. You finish this POI. Then, obviously, you guys need to focus on looting and you need to focus on a proper loot route after this POI. Since this POI is more southern, most split drops aren't that close to the center of the map. I mean, obviously, if they are, you can. this might change, but your zone's probably going to be north. Most of the time, it's going to be pulling up here. It's not going to be exactly in the south. If the zone is south, obviously, you guys can rotate to other big POIs around the area. Fencing Fields is a big one. You guys can rotate over to Mount Olympus. You can rotate over to Pleasant Piazza if you need. You can rotate pretty much anywhere you need to go if the zone is south. However, if the zone is in the north, the hard part is actually getting to zone untouched. It's really tough because you're going to be rotating through the congested side of zone. A proper early game loot route for you guys after you're done looting at your POI, it's going to oftentimes involve you guys dodging the big POIs and going through the small little areas. So for example, instead of going to fencing fields, maybe rotate around it, go to this gas station first, then go to ship it station, then go to restore reels where the zone may be. But if you guys are trying to rotate the other side of the map, maybe go from Orchard Station and the Lodge over to Pantanon Path, then go to Hazy Hillside Tunnel, then go over to Dumpenhausen, then go to Reckless Railways. Essentially, don't go right for the big congested POIs because that's where a lot of people are going to be rotating through. They're going to be looking for fights, leftover loot, people with medallions. That type of stuff is really going to get in your way, especially in the modern day of competitive game. So that's the way that I recommend you guys have a loot route for a split drop, okay? Generally understand that the overall points of a, of a loot route for any drop is you need to focus on if you're contested, land together. And if you guys are highly contested, have a backup drop spot. If you're not contested, obviously land on opposite sides of the POI and loot it as quickly as possible. And then after you're done fighting in your POI, after that stage of the early game, you're in the late early game. I know that's kind of confusing, but after that, you need to focus on going to your other loot areas, go to other spots to get more loot, refarm, get good positioning. That stuff is really going to improve your early game situation and get you set up really nicely for the mid game. But guys, that is my video on loot routes. This is one of the most important aspects of competitive. I've seen a ton of players in FNCS have perfect loot routes, and I need you guys to understand how important and vital this is to your competitive success. Be sure to stay tuned because there's some big news coming on my channel. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.